So guys, those 10 equipments is that what you need to have a lightweight and portable home gym and make sure that you take advantage on the next Black Friday. You've got to struggle to get stronger. What's up? It's John from Build You Stronger helping you to get in shape, eating what you like and training anywhere. On this channel, I'm going to share with you my knowledge about nutrition and calisthenics training. So if you're new here, consider subscribing to learn useful knowledge to get in shape. And if you're not new here, welcome again. Guys, today I'm going to show you the best home gym equipments on Amazon website so you can take advantage on the next Black Friday. Having portable and lightweight home gym equipments can give you so many advantages that you can't even count. The benefits are, if it's lightweight and portable, you can just work out outside. If you build your home gym with lightweight and portable equipment, you can just take some of them on a trip and keep your gains while you are on the road. Also, you don't have to get transportation or your car to go to the gym, you don't have to pay a membership. And those are just some of the advantages of having a portable and lightweight home gym. For example, since 2019, I'm working out at home with those equipment that I'm going to show you here today on Amazon website. And I was able to do this transformation that you are seeing right now on the screen without having to leave my living room or rely on a gym membership that during COVID was totally impacted and so many people lost their gains and even gained weight during lockdown. So if you are willing to buy even some of those equipments that I'm going to show you here today, you are going to be protecting your gains even if another lockdown comes again. So before we get started, I'd like to kindly ask you to leave a like on this video because like this, you can help us to grow our channel and also you can help other people to find this content so they can also take advantage of this great information. So thank you in advance for liking this video and let's get started. So guys, the first piece of equipment that's not quite an equipment, but you need a gym bag to take your stuff, right? Because the purpose here is to have a portable and lightweight home gym. So with a gym bag, you can transport your equipment safely without damaging them. All right, so I totally suggest you to buy uh, one gym bag. For example, this one that you're seeing on your screen. And like this one, they have like lots of compartments, like lots of pockets, and it's not a huge bag. So you see like at the same time, you can take lots of stuff inside. It's not going to take lots of space, right? So this is the, the gym bag that um, I'm suggesting here for you. And don't worry, I'm going to leave links in the description also with the prices so you can decide if this one is good for you or not. But the link is going to be in the description. Let's move on to the second piece of equipment, which is also not quite an equipment, but you need to drink water. Our muscles, they are 75% water. So guess what, what you need when you are working out, you need water. And this water jug is just perfect for you that if you are going to work out outside and you don't have to be concerned of running out of water because this one has 2.2 liters. Besides that, like other features, there is like this hand strap here that uh, like you can just hang like in your, in your gym bag, for example. And like, but the biggest advantage of this bottle is because it's 2.2 liters. It's a lot of water. For example, in my workouts, I drink at least two liters. Sometimes uh, as I work out at home, I just uh, can't fill this up, but like, but sometimes I drink one and a half bottle of this. So almost like a bit more than three liters in one workout, in one workout. I'm not talking about the whole day. Moving on to the third equipment, and that's really an equipment that everyone needs. If you're working out at home, you need a pull-up bar. Like, for example, I'm going to suggest you here some resistance bands. For sure, you can work out back with resistance bands. But like when you are doing pull-ups, you can do so many types of pull-ups. That's a must to build your back. 
you need a pull up bar and this one is so cool i have this one and actually i have a video that i'm going to leave right here for you that's i'm reviewing this pull up bar this exact one and also the link is in the description so why i suggest this one you see that it's huge that is like this guy here hanging on the door frame and this one it doesn't damage the door frame because there are some pads here that's uh that touch the frame and there is like it's like some kind of nice material that doesn't damage the door but another thing that i really like is that you can just storage this anywhere you want because like you see it's open here right it's open here but there is a device here inside this pull up bar just exactly here that allows you to turn it inside and it's going to be closed like this as you can see and then you can storage this even inside the wardrobe if you want but also below the bed behind the door under the couch if you have like five centimeters space pull-ups is a must in our workout if you want to work out at home this is a piece of equipment that i strongly suggest for you if you want to build your body at home all right so moving on to the fourth piece of equipment and it's push-up bars push-up bars are so needed and i'm going to show you why it's because like this push-up bar you see this is exactly like mine and this one you can disassemble like it comes like this just a second yes like this you see you can just disassemble them and you can put them inside your luggage or inside the bag your gym bag and take it anywhere and the advantage of having a um, push-up bar is that when you are doing push-ups your arm like your wrist it's in a neutral position so like this you keep your wrist safe and you prevent injuries because if you are doing push-ups on the floor your hands is like this and you are doing like a nine degree angle with your wrist which is unsafe for your joints so you have to take care and how you do this you do with a push-up bar this is one of the best piece of equipment that i have and I'll, honestly, this is very durable, the material is great and that's the one that I'm suggesting for you. The fifth piece of equipment that I strongly suggest is at least one resistance band. And if you have to buy one resistance band, I'm going to suggest for you this black one because as you can see here, the resistance is medium from 10 to 30 kilograms. It means that it goes from 20 pounds to 60 pounds. So it's a lot of resistance and you can do so much with this only one resistance band. But if you are really willing to build your portable and lightweight home gym, I strongly suggest you to buy the first three resistance bands. So the red one, the black one and the purple one. And this is just like you can do so much with this. And honestly, if you are on a budget, you can just buy the black one and you are going to be fine. That's exactly the one that I have. And that was the first resistance band that I bought ever. And it's with me since 2019. Just right now that it's like kind of damaging here, but I can think this is more my mistake. I didn't take care of this well, so it's kind of damaged right now, but I still can use it. And it's two years, like two years since I bought this. So like if I change my resistance bands every two years, that's just fine, you know, because it's two years, like 24 months. It's already paid itself, right? Because like lots of muscle. So guys, you can do so much with just one resistance band. And that's the one that I suggest, the black one. Oh, before we move on to the piece of equipment, if you want to build muscle and lose fat at home, I have to tell you three pillars of fitness. It's training, nutrition, and support. And that's exactly what I have in my 12 week coaching program, which is 100% customized for you. So I mean, custom workouts, custom meal plan, nutrition training so you can learn how to deal with your nutrition and most importantly support 24 7 tech support and weekly video check-ins directly with me so if you're struggling to lose fat and build muscle and you are tired of trying and trying and no success just click in the first link in the description to claim your free coaching call with me or if you have any questions just send me a message on this mail on the screen now let's move on to the next equipment 
The next equipment that I suggest for you is this loop resistance band. It's a set of resistance bands, it's five. You can see that there is like each one, there is one resistance. 10 pounds, 15 pounds, 20, 25, and 40 pounds. Can you imagine how many exercises you can do with all of them together? You can do so many things. And it comes with a pair of handles. I have this one actually, and this is like, it's not exactly like mine, but it's really similar and I think it's even better than mine. So here you can see that all of them, they are tagged with the weight. And I strongly suggest this one because it comes with some accessories. For example, this is an ad adjustable ankle straps. We have, for example, this one here, this is a door anchor, because since you are working out at home, you have to attach it to the door, put it on the top or the side of the door and just close the door. Like this, you can fix it somewhere and you just do your exercise. And this is just amazing. I know that's another type of resistance band. The previous one is 208 loop resistance band. And this one is a totally different thing. So if you want to build your own portable gym, I strongly suggest you have this one as well. It's like in the gym, you use different equipment to do the same exercise. And it's kind of like this because using the previous resistance band that I just showed you, you have like some limitations. So when you buy this resistance band set, you kind of overcome those limitations. So moving on to another type of equipment, it's the suspension training. And for suspension training, I suggest gym rings because since we are working out at home, we need different type of equipment to put different resistance in our muscles. I even have one video reviewing why you should buy a gym rings i'm going to leave this in the description and, and you can watch later but this is piece of equipment it's just amazing and also the set it comes with so many things also one door anchor just like uh, with the previous resistance band but this one is especially made to attach your gym rings and honestly like in the past i was kind of resistant to buy gym rings because i thought it would be like kind of redundant you know with the equipment that i already have but that was totally a game changer for me so i totally suggest you to include this piece of equipment in your home gym moving on to the next equipment it's also a suspension trainer and you can think that it's going to be like almost the same with gym rings but i have both and i use both with different purposes and they just complete each other and this one that i picked for you it's really similar to mine the difference that mine is yellow and it's lightweight you can take it like inside your bag and here for example you have some examples of how you can use it you know to work out so here like different from the traditional training belts so it's really amazing like it teaches like how you can attach it like even like if you are working out outside you can put this like in a tree branch and like and you can work out safely and here you can see better like how it is you see 2.3 meters each one it comes like with both and also one meter strap which is to attach them together so this one here so this is another piece of equipment it won't be like redundant or like uh, it's not the same as gym rings this one has limitations as gym rings also has so they just complete each other moving on to another equipment it's foam roller i personally don't have this one but i'm going to buy this because it's great for warm up the muscles and also cool down the muscles after your workout and if you see this picture that appearing here right now on the screen i do this exercise every morning and it would be so much easier doing with a foam roller for example this is for shoulder mobility but you can use this to cool down in a back day or in a leg day so you don't feel sore after the workout and last but not least this one i used for two years already and this is a waist trainer just to clarify for you it's not to burn fat or reshape your waist it's just to increase the temperature around your waist so you can lose more water in that region all right it's not to burn fat not to shape your waist it's just for water retention and i really like it since i'm around 15 body fat percentage and i just suggest you to buy this one if you if you are around 15 percent or 20 percent 
If you are 30%, 35% of body fat percentage, don't buy this because you're going to waste your money. So guys, those 10 equipments, is that what you need to have a lightweight and portable home gym? And make sure that you take advantage on the next Black Friday. So keep an eye on them. And I'm going to leave the, in the description the price for each one with the link as well. And even if you buy the most important ones, you can already make progress at home. You don't have to buy everything. But I want to tell you that if you buy all of them, you won't spend more than $220. So it's kind of a cheap investment if you compare with a gym membership that you're going to pay, I don't know, $600 or even $1,000 per year. And if you buy those equipments, it's about $220. And they're going to stay with you at least five years. So it's a great investment for you, for your health, and to free yourself from gym membership. Guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you enjoyed learning this. Don't forget to leave the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification button like this. You're going to be the first one notified when I release a new video. If you haven't watched my previous video, it's going to be right here. And in this button here, you can subscribe. See you in the next video.